Hey, Chloe. Can I ask you for a favor? It's important, and I can only ask it of you. You only need to command me if you want something. I am your bodyguard. I could not disobey my master's orders. I see. <laughs> God damn it. Then take this. this situation. Shoot me with that gun. Uh. This is the worst of your jokes. Especially with this ancient weapon. What kind of thought experiment is this for? It's not an experiment. I want to be shot by your hands of your own volition. That's not funny. You always like seeing me flustered. But you won't get that pleasure. Hey, Chloe. Do you know why I can't see? Don't you think in this medically advanced era, blindness or paralysis would be non-existent? But it does exist, since you are... Am I misunderstanding something? Chloe, I will die soon. Die? My blindness and paralysis all originate from my collapsing brain. My brain was underdeveloped from before I was born. Mm. And now, it's slowly degrading further. First went my sight, then the strength from my legs. I wondered what would come next, and it looks like my brain is starting to shut down. My memories and consciousness are dimming. It's taking everything I have just to live. Every day, I lose a little bit of myself. What are... What are you talking about? That can't be. You're fine. We... We communicate normally, don't we? I see you every day. Don't I? Nothing about you ever seemed wrong. You even had that concert a few days ago. Don't tell me that was also for the sake of making memories. If I'm going to die, I want it to be with happy memories. And before I forget them all. Stop. Every morning, I wake up and whisper my name. I check if anything is missing from my memories. Then, I recall the faces of everyone important to me. Father's face. Mother's face and your face, Chloe. Only then am I finally reassured I still remember everyone. That I am still me. Stop. I don't want to hear this. But my remaining memories are now dim. When I go to sleep every night, I think to myself, Will tomorrow's me remember herself? Will she remember the people important to her? Will she remember those she shouldn't forget? Enough! Please, stop. I'm scared. I'm starting to lose it all. At this rate, I won't even know what I've forgotten. I don't want that. I want to be Coco when I'm with you, Chloe. I want to be the Coco you adore until the very end. Don't come any closer. Stay. I can't do it. There's no way I can. Chloe. My heart is yours. I want you to hold it forever. So please, use this gun. Shoot me through the heart with it. You're forcing me into a decision again? Oh, fine, Coco. This time, I'll... I'll grant your wish. Wait, what? No. <laughs> Get the fuck out! <laughs> Get out of this hand! <laughs> it's forcing me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I forced such a difficult decision upon you. I'm glad, though. You've undergone great change, Chloe. Meeting me, Noah, and Anima has changed you. Leave my death in the past. You have the now, and the one who cares for it. If you allow them a space in your heart, I'm sure you will have a wonderful future. 
I hope you'll follow your heart and continue moving forward. What do you mean? Coco, I can't leave you in the past. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe! Uh? <gasps> oh, you finally woke up. You were tossing and turning so much, I almost thought you'd die. You exaggerate. No one dies in their dreams. <laughs> you I <were> mean... <laughs> Was it a nightmare? We're very far into the Ariadne and seems like this is gonna be the true ending, I'm pretty sure. Because it's like so bright. I think it's the same light that we saw like far away. So I'm glad. I'm not sure. But you didn't come here to ask me about that, did you? Noah? You heard it too, didn't you? When Anima's voice and mine overlapped, there was a thunderous roar from somewhere. The cry was so dreadful, I thought my eardrums were going to burst. Mm, true. Conquer. Yeah, I did. What was that? A meteora? I don't know, but that vision. The one of Coco getting eaten, and the meteora looking like her. Then Anima. Like, if we're going in order, it just might be a voice from the future. From the future? Are you saying that's Anima's future form? I can't say for sure, but there is one thing that I probably can. Meteoras truly are tragic beings. Uh? Did you figure something out? Chloe, I want to apologize for how I've treated Anima. What's gotten into you? You hated it so much. When our voices overlapped as we sung, I lived a long life with Anima in that light. Oh. It helped me understand it. It has sinned. It ate Coco and hurt you. But it didn't do that of its own will. It's been suffering all this time. There was nothing it could do. Meteoras are part of a system trying to hurt you and Coco. The meteoras are part of a system? Yeah. Anima's been suffering and fighting against that impulse. How can we possibly punish it? I'm the only one who could have understood the grief of a system developing its own conscience. Yet, what did I do? I pinned Anima as a monster without trying to understand its feelings. If only I'd sung for Anima earlier. I hate myself for it. You worry and suffer just like a human now. Like a human? Me? Yeah. You eat, sleep, and cry. Your heart aches in regret and self-loathing. Just like them. I see. <laughs> the Ark that cares for the now has finally become human. This regret and sadness is precious proof of that. The one who cares for the now. So that's what she meant. Hmm? What was that? In my dream. Coco said I had the now, and the one who cares for it. She said if I allow them a space in my heart, it will welcome a wonderful future. The now is most likely Anima, mm. and the one who cares for it is you. When the two of you synchronized, we saw a flash of the future. That giant roaring beast? Noah, tell me. You said Anima is fighting against the Meteora system. What's the system that's trying to hurt me and Coco? Why are we being targeted? Unfortunately, I can't give you a proper answer. I was only able to feel Anima's impulses. Hmm. Chloe, you once said this to me, that you felt everything was connected from Coco's death by a string, mm -hmm. and that we would find Coco's wish if we kept pulling that string. If what Coco said in your dream is right, and the beast we saw when Anima and I synced. What's waiting for us in the future is a beast that will completely destroy the now. It is definitely not Coco. You saw it, didn't you? You heard that roar too. That, or maybe a disaster leading to humanity's destruction is what's waiting if we pull. Mm. We need to cut the string immediately. Even so, I don't want to throw away hope or abandon the future without knowing anything. I need to search for what the meteoras are, and why they are after me and Coco. So do I. But Chloe, where do you plan to start? I have no idea. 
Honestly, I would start with Dieter. Dieter is weird. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I don't think Julie is gonna unveil anything. I would go with Dieter. I don't have any proof, but I want to investigate the general and his affairs. Dieter, huh? He takes command of the capture of Meteoras and moves them to the middle level. He suppressed the council and gave tacit consent to the investigation. I feel like he's acting out of a directive for something other than protecting the city. It's true he can't be trusted, but there's someone even more suspicious than him. Do you mean Julie? Yes. Her obsession with Meteoras is abnormal. Do you think Journey really? She's definitely hiding something we don't know. There's a high chance the information Dieter has on Meteoras comes from Julie. So, we should search her lab, huh? Are you really willing to go through with this, Chloe? Her lab is under tight security, which shows how badly she wants to keep the information hidden. Are you willing to take the risk to investigate? Yes. Of course. I've made my decision. Coco said this to me in my dreams. We will welcome a wonderful future if I can accept you and Anima. I want to know what the future she spoke of is like, no matter what. You only dreamed that. It might be an illusion. It might be. But do you remember that meteor from the future you and Anima showed me? Strangely enough, I didn't find it terrifying. <sighs> Why did I get stuck with such a stubborn partner? <laughs> well, looks like I don't have a choice. Noah. It'll take something big to get Julie out of the lab. So we'll have to give her some motivation. Meteora? Slip into the lab as soon as you have the chance and get the information you need. Are you sure? It won't end well for you if you're caught. It's fine. It's human to do stupid things for friends, right? <laughs> what do you plan on doing, Noah? I have a bad feeling about this. It's... It's the same one I had when I couldn't stop Coco from going up to the surface. The city. Gravy. What happened to the color of the trees? I'm scared. Why is the city so white? <laughs> the gravy eye is completely fucked. What? What should I do? Mm -hmm. Where's my Libra? Come on. Show your emotions with a texture. I can't tell what you're thinking. Someone, please respond. Respond to me. Alba? Chloe. Glad to see you're safe. Alba. What's going on? I'm not sure. I only know that the urban management arc is acting abnormally. Most of the normal devices are broken. Even Libra's decision support system isn't working. Well, but then. our devices seem to be working normally. That's because ours are supplied by the military. Citizens who rely on the normal system are in a panic now. Yamato? Chloe! You alright? Where are you? Yamato, how are things on your side? Ugh. Alba, I'm fine, but the city's gone berserk. Everyone's terrified by the textures coming on. The resistance has taken their chance and made a move. Oh, okay. We've confirmed sightings of the masked rioters attacking critical facilities. Patroclus? They're behind this? Have they moved on to large-scale terrorist attacks? They'll target your areas soon. Both of you get back to the Prometheus headquarters. What? Judy? Why did you leave the lab? Was that uh, enough reason? My city's a mess! <laughs> the system's completely come apart! Who the hell ruined my masterpiece? You should die for what you've done! I won't forgive you! Professor? She went out there? Personally? That's how bizarre the situation is. Chloe, you gotta get out of there! No way, Chloe! You're staying with me! We'll go repair the areas that have been destroyed. And you're going to protect this body from Patroclus. What? Please wait. That's dangerous. They've become violent. We don't know what they'll... That's why I'm ordering her to protect me from that Patroclus trash. Don't worry, Chloe. I'll heal any injuries you get from protecting me. Growing an arm for design is nothing to me. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Are you awake? Noah. Oh, thank goodness she's okay too. Then listen well. 
I'm about to tell you something important about myself. Ark Noah exists to be there for the people. For that, I've shut down certain functions and tossed away my omnipresence as a digital being. I cannot be with you if I am transcendental. However, as an idol, I have loved you all equally, rich or poor. My songs touched all of you. Yet, do you not think that is contradictory? If I was not conceived to be omnipresent, how can the only thing I give equally be love? In other words, mm -hmm. I have been lying. I am grateful to all of you. Thanks for loving my songs and supporting me up until now. But I don't love you. Huh? <laughs> love is precious and not so easily given. Love is relative, either zero or infinite. Poor and pitiful designed. Your heart is fleeting thin ice. Those who try to crush it. Wait a minute. Those people are designed as well? Will simply be crushed first by my infinite love. So that's why Julie said. Finally see how this all works. You're the one who destroyed my precious city. That's why she said it's it's her city. She created all of this. How dare it mark look down upon me? How audacious! What? You think you're powerful because you have a couple of drones at your beck and call? Yes. They're like stars, aren't they? Do you like shooting stars? I hate them. I have to go. <laughs> Damn. Have to go. What are they doing? Chloe, get out of there to somewhere safe. Okay. What are you standing there for? I can't buy you much time against her. Yeah. Noah? I've blocked off your communication with Alba. No one should be able to know your location now. Let's get to the lab. Yeah. <laughs> You're playing with me, okay. Noah! Why are you willing to go so far from me? There's no turning back now! Putting it all on the line in the moment without looking before you leap is quite human, right? <sighs> Hurry! We only have 30 minutes at most. Okay. I won't let these 30 minutes go to waste. The truth about the meteoras. What Julie is really after. What Coco was thinking. There's so much I don't know. But I won't run away anymore. Just go! I'll unravel the mystery. I've unlocked the lab. Let's go, Chloe. What are they? Julie's support arcs? She's put several layers of protection on it, but it should be fine the way she is now. Good girl. Listen to me for a little while. Code Utna Pishtim. Command number 4040. Utna Pishtim. <laughs> Remove second order protection. Remove secondary observation program, HACS. Noah, you can't keep pushing yourself like that. You don't need to worry, Chloe. We can't have you underestimating my abilities. But go do what you need to do. D Julie, what's wrong? Did you forget something again during personality transcription? Yeah, I did. Show me all the information on the meteoras. Final animal report. Last update two days ago. Looks like it wasn't Alba that compiled this report. But Julie, synchronization level far exceeded standard. Moving to next project phase. What was Anima synchronizing with? Journal recorded using automatic voice identification. The meteors are transcendental bodies of information against human time manipulation. 
Time manipulation. They exist beyond human wisdom and eliminate those who violate the providence of time. But it is to overcome this limitation I have dedicated myself to research for so long. Challenging time is no different from challenging the gods. But very well, this wall of humanity is one I will overcome. I'll research, investigate, and verify my hypothesis as many times as necessary. If this body is destroyed, I'll just change it. I'll transcribe my personality to the new body. Integrate, self-replicate, and familiarize. All for the rational reasons of durability and functionality. There's no problem. I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel anything for this body I've used for over ten years. My appearance can't help but silently remind me of her. The one I've lost. That's the only thing that pains me. So I left some resemblance to her in this body. When I see this appearance reflected in the mirror, I recall hers. No matter how much research I've done, human bodies cannot become autopoietic machines. Man, a machine, cannot overcome the limits of the autopoiesis theory on a body level. However, the brain can. That's why I've transcribed the core of the cranium. But the brain can't be separated from its physicality. Memories fade with transcription. This is probably my last chance. Now, I can still recall her voice and her complexion. I can still remember her gorgeous eyes. All this thorough, rational thinking and scientific calculation is for my dearest wish. It's ironic my motivation is an extremely emotional one. My achievement is immediate. I will soon be able to meet her. The individual named... Wait, you? Not Coco? Fuck. What is this? Uh, wait, this is from Tokyo Chronos. This uh, green character. So this part of the story was not like really well explained later on. So I'm gonna explain it now. It's basically the reference to Yuria Tokogu that was a character in Tokyo Chronos. And I have no idea what's the correlation between Julie and her. Or maybe like Julie is her mom or something like that. I, I don't remember because there was only a story about her father. But there's definitely like this mascot. It's the exact same mascot that Togoku and Julie has as an arc. That's very clear to me. But so that was like crazy, but I don't know. The game did not explain the exact reasoning why, but that's the reference. Noah? Meteoras, the maintainers who keep the world as it is. Guardians of fine tuning. Free to be yesterday or tomorrow. Unconstrained by tense. It's no wonder Julie wants them. She wants the meteoras? What does that mean? Hmm. She's not responding well. Keep stimulating her until she responds. The meteoras only prey on a small number of targets. And they are always searching for that prey. The meteoras target. That's exactly what I am. And... Wait. Was Coco also one? Is that why she was consumed? I go against nature as a design. So I can understand. But... Why is Coco being targeted too? Consumption is a method of recording. I guess you can say its body is like a recording medium? If a meteora consumes high density information, it'll be affected when it records it. Some will even transform. If they consume enough to transform, they're rooted to that time frame. Their body transforms. Anima? That's why she looks so similar to Coco. She used that nature to bind the Meteora to the present time. The Meteoras fix all broken parts before they consume their prey for an accurate recording. Their system can repair any damage in a blink of an eye. Damage? That's why Coco was able to walk right before she died. Huh? She was repaired. I think she could see too. Black object. This is a high-dimensional space-time structure containing a space-time singularity. 
it's impossible to create a Meteora's natural black object in this lab. But Julie succeeded in creating an artificial black object after long years of research. Well... As the source of Chloe's and Coco's souls. As the Machia source of energy. And as the generative source of the temporal detour. <laughs> Aristotle? Heraclitus? John Foy Newman? Why not turn? She's uh. broken! Just when we were so close! We've obtained the basics. But I wanted more definitive information. I guess I'll have to do it. These are the three who hold the key. Coco Kokonoe, Ark Noah, and Toad Chloe. If they all play their separate roles properly, the Meteoras should be easy to manipulate. Please, tell me about Coco. Coco. Coco Coconoe Quantum Entanglement Entropy Huh? Shortened to QEE -E, One half of the accumulation The recursive soul Captured in space-time Oh! The girl who's supposed to be prey! Why did Coco go above ground? Answer me! Unknown It was her mirror image we wanted to feed to the Meteora you wanted to feed it? Mirror image? What do you mean? Coco and Chloe, artificial personalities created by Julie. What? Transcribed to the black object. Coco was not real as well. They are the recursive soul. Mirror duality occurred during their production. Their relationship is like that of dual mirrors. We are a pair of black objects? It involves an operation that exchanges your descriptors with one another. Duality means that different concepts can indicate the same object. The two are always attracted to each other. Excellent. Tito. General! To think you managed to distract Professor Julie and extract this information. All a waste, however, if you do not keep up your guard. Right, Noah? Tita! Your partner won't come out unscathed. Oh shit. <laughs>